All right, thanks for coming back. It's the Miller's Prayer Letter, and it's been about two months. It is now time to record and give you March and April of what in the world's been going on with us. So I don't know what you're doing or driving, walking, jogging, crawling, flying, but thanks for taking a small time out of your day to listen to our prayer letter, and we hope it can be an encouragement to you. Uh, so here's some things that's been going on with us here. We've had a church camp out, and so we got to take everyone to the woods and have some fun and see God's creation. And so our letter starts off with this. As it says, last month, we took several loads of our church crew out to the nearby woods. The families that we had enjoyed food cooked over a fire, and they stayed mostly until dark. Well, it was kind of cold by that point. Then the men, us mainly burly guys, got to set up camp, and uh, we put up two tents and uh, several, several blankets. There were four of us guys, and then Milos and Nikolai, that got to stay the night and enjoy God's beautiful creation and got to see him as king on his celestial throne. Amen. And so, and then we had a little time for some Bible stories there. And then we also had a ladies' church meeting. There was about eight of the ladies, including my wife. They gathered together for a short time to learn about the importance of hospitality and how to love Jesus and to show people your love for Jesus through this word and action called hospitality. Several ladies spoke about how helpful this little meeting was to them, so we hope it was a blessing. We've also been doing English class, and so we started down this trail. Our church has recently launched our first English classes, and although I'm not an expert in English by no means, my wife and I are trying to do this effort with the support of some church members here as well. It's a wonderful venture that we're all on, and we're excited to embark on this together. It's a, it's a place that we can fish. We can use this opportunity to meet people and to help people, and that's, I believe, it's something that God wants us to try to do. So, also, we've started a late leadership class, and leadership class is where a bunch of men come together, and we teach them and show them from God's Word and other sources how we can be better leaders in our community. So, so far, it's been about six to eight attendees have been coming, and it's been an encouraging effort aimed at nurturing leadership qualities among the men in our church. Again, great countries and great movements are directed by the leadership of good and godly men, and that's what we need here as well. So we've also been doing another thing that we're going to do soon called Teaching Bible Class, I believe just as many of my redneck fellow citizens of the USA, that every man should know how to shoot a gun. And I also believe that every Christian should know how to teach the Bible. And so we've been launching, or we will be launching here soon, uh, sessions or classes aimed at training men on how to effectively teach the Bible. This next step is designed to deepen our understanding and ability to share the scriptures. So many people say, I don't know how to teach the Bible. Well, this is going to be a little short, uh, brief lessons on how we come to the stances that we do. We talk about historical, grammatical, and literal interpretations of the Bible, and this is what we plan to do as well. Continuing on in our letter, we find that we're going to be taking a campaign trip or going to see our friends in a nearby country that are going to be doing a campaign about the gospel. We're going to go see the Leslies during their outreach campaign. We're hoping to learn how to do what they do, and we also want to be a blessing if we can. Uh, we're also bringing along a few of our church members here to experience firsthand how such operations go. We've also continued our ideas on church work days. You understand that God gave us this world as humans to take care of and to keep clean. You talk about Adam and Eve. One of their first jobs is to take care of the garden. Well, we also here at our church want to foster a spirit of taking care of our world. So we've started going around and several of our folks gathered together to help paint the interior of our church, clean the outside streets, 
And we've, of course, this is a rental property. So there's streets in front of our building are rather nasty. So we get to pick up cigarettes and alcohol bottles and all sorts of nasty stuff, clean it up, make it look nice and pretty. And I hope it can be a blessing to us, but yet to our Lord and maybe a testimony to our neighbors and our landlord. Some of our prayer requests that we have noted down here in our letter is that God has enabled us to initiate two additional language class, uh, classes or sessions. Uh, we're about up to four, maybe five classes a week, which is rather intense. I don't get much else done, but I know it's a, it's a necessity of life to just really knuck, knuckle down, as they say, and learn the language. And so we've been trying to do more of that here lately. We've been grateful for a friend of our, Benjamin Decker. He came over here for a few months. Well, last time he came for about a month, and he's hoping to come back here for another two months. Yet, um, with all this, we are still hoping that someone would come for a more long term, as far as uh, six, eight months at a time, to help us with all these different projects that we have, while our time remains fully in uh, we're mostly full in learning language. We still have so many things that we could do or could do if we just had the help. So I pray that God would raise up someone that could be a part-time help to us here. Uh, but there's so many tasks that need to be managed, and we look forward to what God has for us. And for all those who are praying for us, God bless you. And I just want to remind you of some of the prayer requests that God did answer. And again, Benjamin Decker was a prayer request that was answered in our lives, and we want to thank God for the opportunities to teach the Bible to people. Here soon, we're going to be going to another small village where there's some Christians that they want to have a little Bible study, a little uh, time of prayer meeting, so we're going to do that, so praise the Lord for that. Um, we've God's answered our prayer that Kaylin's got more practice and peace at driving a manual vehicle in the city here, which is stressful for her. And thank the Lord that he's given her peace in that. And, but some new prayer requests we want to share with you as we close out today. Uh, we have English class, a uh, time we can have that English class together and we share the Bible. Pray for that. And then this leadership class. And then the next classes after that as we teach the Bible. Pray for these classes as people can grow and, and be educated. And then also we want to pray for more volunteers, uh, more people that might be able to help on a small term basis, maybe one month, maybe a few weeks, or maybe a longer term, maybe six months at a time that they'd be willing to come over here and serve with us and help us in these additional tasks that we have. Uh, and then also pray for the salvation of church members or church church visitors, I should say, as the people come and they go. But Lord, uh, praise the Lord that we had one of our sisters here in the church. She's been coming for about a year. And uh, last week, as we finished our study in the book of Revelation, she asked uh, to me to help her find out if her name is written in the book of life. And so we made sure we prayed and we asked God to, to seal her up. And uh, she prayed and asked God to save her and to put her in the book. And so praise the Lord that her name is written in God's eternal Lamb's book of life. So God bless you guys. Stay encouraged. He is still on the throne. He's still coming soon. He still loves you, and he still wants the best for his kingdom. And I pray that we can be a part of it in the best way we can. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Ciao.